Welcome to Trial Site News Investor Watch Roundup. With growing tensions between Moderna and US government scientists, Operation Warp Speed moved the investigational vaccine spotlight to NVX CoV-2373, the experimental vaccine from publicly traded Novavax Inc. Not only did Novavax join the Operation Warp Speed program, they became the largest funded vaccine developer to date with a $1.6 billion award by the federal government to complete late-stage clinical development, including a pivotal phase three clinical trial, as well as establish large-scale manufacturing and deliver 100 million doses of NVX CoV-2373 as early as late 2020. A small and not well-known Australian clinical research organization called Nucleus Network will be under the spotlight as they lead the Novavax Phase 1 and 2 clinical trial in that country. Thanks to meeting an important development milestone underlining a drive to absolutely transform the treatment of the blood clotting disorder Haemophilia A, Scotland-based ProFactor Pharma recently received 1.1 million pounds in the second tranche of support from a 2 million pound funding round announced in September 2019 to advance the development program. As it progresses towards toxicology, the Scottish venture has clinical trials in sight next year. The market needs a successful way to produce more recombinant factor 8 at a lower cost to serve hundreds of thousands of underserved patients. A team of researchers from Vanderbilt University Medical Center, Purdue University, and the University of Wisconsin-Madison have isolated potential human monoclonal antibodies, potentially capable of preventing acute flaccid myelitis, a rare but devastating polio-like illness in children linked to a respiratory viral infection called acute flaccid myelitis. An innovative clinical stage biotech company developing transformative medicines based on an optimized mRNA technology platform just secured 75 million euros in a loan agreement with the European Investment Bank, or the EIB. With an mRNA-based COVID-19 vaccine candidate, CureVac actually was invited to the White House to talk about an exclusive deal with the US government, according to some reports. The company wasn't interested and with new capital access, focuses on CVN, COV, and mRNA-based vaccine candidate targeting SARS-CoV-2 infection. Thank you for joining us for this week's Investor Watch Roundup. We'll see you all next time.